Okay, really great, really great. So the, the, the final stage or the final um, mechanics of the game that we were going to talk about is the idea of assessment. So tell us. So the, the, the final stage or the final um, mechanics of the game that we were going to talk about is the idea of assessment. So tell us a little bit about that. Uh, right. So, you know, the great thing about assessment in a game or simulation is we can track, as designers, we can track everything that you do uh, in that experience. And when we can track all that data, we can give you some real-time feedback on how well you're doing on every aspect of your business. So we have one business simulation, for example, and we have a rubric, you know, kind of education speak, in terms of analyzing your, your performance in individual areas. And we can analyze how well you're doing on inventory management, how well you're doing on pricing, how well you're doing on marketing. We can break it down in a very granular way and give you some real authentic feedback on how you're doing and if you're improving, are you trending in the right direction, are you getting better, are you getting worse, uh, and so on. And we call it authentic because unlike traditional evaluation, you know, testing, where you know, you, you're, you're supposed to learn something and then you go take a multiple choice or true-false test, whatever, you're really only evaluating your ability to take a test. You're not act actually evaluating somebody's ability to change their performance and, and, and apply what they've learned. With a simulation, if we get you to run a business and you run a business successfully, you know, you're, making, you're paying your bills, you're making money, you're balancing your stress levels and so on, then you've actually demonstrated you can do these things. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and you know, it's in a way that you couldn't do before. So it's, it, it's, it's true, it's authentic, it's accurate. Uh, and accuracy, accuracy is another important one because, you know, I have an article I'm writing and it argues that simulated experience is better than real world experience. Now when I say that, I think most people are going to be taken back by that and think, wait a second, how can, how can something that's not real in terms of experience, because nothing is better than experience in most people's minds, mm -hmm. how can a simulated experience be better than real world experience? Well, there's some great examples. One, of course, is if you're going to learn how to fly an airplane, mm -hmm. how do you fly an airplane in poor weather? Yeah. Uh, you know, how do you fly an airplane with mechanical problems? You can't experience that in the real world. Um, in the case of running a business, how long would it take you to experience all the things you need to experience to feel confident in running the business? Would it take six months, a year, five years, ten years? Mm -hmm. We can accelerate all those things yeah. uh, and make them happen in a simulated environment. And very importantly, we can give you accurate feedback. Mm -hmm. An example, I run into a lot of business people, consult with a lot of people, and I am, I'm astonished at how many people come to incorrect conclusions of how the world works. <laughs> mm. Because of some experience that they've uh -huh. encountered, right? Uh -huh. uh, so they might say as an entrepreneur, well, I raised my prices and all of a sudden my business dropped the next three days, so I, I realized that was a bad decision, so I changed them back. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe that wasn't a bad decision. Maybe the weather was uh -huh. a problem at that time. Right, right, right. Or maybe you didn't advertise or present the prices properly. There's so many variables in there um, that I don't think people are, you know, the average person is trained very well to analytically look at something mm -hmm. and determine the consequences and you know the causes of these things and with simulation because we control it and presumably we know what we're doing we hope but of mm -hmm. course that's always subjective too uh, but we can at least help the learner come to the correct conclusions about how the world works as opposed to the anecdotal conclusions or qualitative right. conclusions that I think most people come to right and so so what I just heard you say was that if you're going to be an expert, for example, at running a business, there's a whole world of experience and you might be 90 years old before you've experienced that entire world. But in your simulation, you can see that whole world in microcosm and get through it before, you know, in a, in a, in a month or a year or something like that of training. Exactly. exactly. And see all the different, see the big picture.